Hi, I'm Mayor Mike Panelides, and welcome to my monthly video update. First thing to bring you up to date on is the city of Annapolis is teaming up with Anne Arundel County to conduct its first ever drive-through clinic at the Navy Marine Corps Stadium. 1,000 seasonal flu shots will be provided to anyone that shows up on Wednesday, October 21st from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. The shots will be available on a first come, first serve basis. The County Health Department, the City Office of Emergency Management, and the Anne Arundel County Medical Center are making their combined goal to get as many residents as possible vaccinated to avoid flu-related illness. Did you know that each year in the United States, thousands of people die from seasonal flu-related complications, and approximately 200,000 people are hospitalized from seasonal flu-related causes? Well, this clinic will help to limit the flu virus in Annapolis, and is also an exercise and a critical component of our ongoing effort to test the city's pandemic response plans, specifically our ability to mass inoculate the public during an epidemic of infectious disease. For more information, please call 410-216-9167 or visit www.aahealth.org. It's been a busy month for sidewalks and curb restoration in Annapolis. The Department of Public Works started the Van Buren neighborhood on Monday, September 14th, and completed the project on September 25th. Now crews are moving northward towards Pleasant Street, Clay Street, with the project expected to be completed during the first week of October. Meanwhile, the repaving of Hunt Meadow Drive and Riding Ridge Road to Harness Creek Road is also underway. It's expected that this work will take approximately four weeks to complete, weather permitting. In other news, I want to invite you all to a meeting hosted by the Department of Neighborhood and Environmental Programs to discuss the city's watershed improvement plan. The meeting is scheduled for Monday, October 19th, 7 p.m. at the Pitt Moyer Recreation Center, located at 273 Hilltop Lane in Annapolis. Based on recent field investigations, 52 sites have the potential for stormwater management improvements, retrofitting of existing best management practices, is recommended at 20 sites, and an additional 32 are being recommended for new stormwater management projects. Residents attending the meeting will be asked to rank these projects regarding the priority of their implementation. I want to give a shout out to the members of the Annapolis Recreation and Parks Department who were recently celebrated at the White House for their efforts in the Healthy Lifestyle Initiative. First Lady Michelle Obama was on hand to congratulate the participants of the Let's Move City, Town, and County initiatives, including our own Jen Jennings and Alderwoman Rhonda Pendell Charles from Ward 3. Annapolis is part of a growing national movement to build healthy communities that strive to enrich the quality of life for residents by advocating healthy living, nutritional education, and quality recreational programs. Annapolis runs several of these programs catering to children's health and physical well being. To wrap things up, I wanted to share a recent opportunity I had to get a crash course in seamanship and navigation during a visit to the United States Naval Academy. During the visit, I learned about and participated in the activities of the Yard Patrol Squadron. The event was hosted by our friends at the United States Naval Academy and provided me with information about the activities of the YP Squadron and the standard of instructions provided to the seamanship and navigation department. During the visit, I was able to experience firsthand how ship navigation training is conducted at the academy from the classroom to the simulators and then on the open waters aboard YP-708. I was thoroughly impressed with both the staff and midshipmen. I've lived here my whole life, but I've never had the opportunity to drive a destroyer in a simulator or go out on the YPs and see training firsthand. It was an incredible experience. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always contact me at 410-263-7997 or email me at mayor at annapolis.gov and Twitter and Facebook at Mayor Panelides. Thanks for watching.